Good afternoon, class. Today, I want to discuss um, dividing whole numbers by powers of 10. So our I can statement for this lesson is, I can divide whole numbers by powers of 10. So we have our first equation um, in the top left-hand corner of the screen that 74 divided by 1,000, or you could also say it's 74 divided by 10 to the third power. So the way we solve this expression is we write the whole number, which in this case is 74. Then we put a decimal point at the end of the whole number. And to decrease the value of the 74, we move the decimal point to the left as many places as there are zeros. So we have three zeros, so we're going to move the decimal point to the left three spaces. So that's one, two, and three. So now my decimal point is right here. Now what I want to do is fill in a zero in the empty space and put an X over my old decimal point. So my product is decimal point zero seven, four. So let's look at the next example. The next example is 675 divided by 10 to the fourth power. So first step, I want to write my whole number, which is 675. Step two, I want to put a decimal point to the far right, which is after the five. Step three, I'm going to move my decimal point to the left as many places as there are zeros. And in this particular example, I have four zeros. So let's move the decimal place to the left, four spaces. One, two, three, and four. So that's where my decimal point is now. I'm going to put an X over my old decimal point, and I'm going to fill in my empty spaces with a zero. Now I'm going to rewrite my product, and that is the decimal point first, zero, six, seven, five, or 675 thousandths would be the way that we would read that decimal. So then on to our last example, we have 8,160 divided by 100. So again, I'm going to rewrite my whole number, which is 8,160. And I'm going to put the decimal point at the end behind the zero, the last number. And then I'm going to count how many zeros do I have. I have one, two. There's two zeros. So I'm going to move my decimal point to the left two spaces. One, two. So now my decimal point is there. So I'm going to put an X over the O spot. And now I'm going to rewrite my product, which is 81 and 6 tenths. That, that decimal point there and a zero. Okay, so that's my final answer or final product. Your activity to go along with this video is in Seesaw and it is called multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. You will have expressions down at the bottom and you drag them up and you solve them. If the answer is correct, then you put the expression and the answer underneath true. If it's incorrect, then you put it underneath false, okay? And on this seesaw, um, this symbol right here, this symbol right here is just another way of writing 10 to the third power, okay? So that's all this symbol is. This person who created this seesaw was unable to write the three to the top right hand corner of the 10. So they use this symbol right here to say that that's 10 to the third power. Please make sure that you watch the video and that you complete this seesaw assignment asynchronously today on Wednesday um, and turn it in no later than five o'clock 
Wednesday afternoon. If you have any questions at all, I will be available in the chat. I'm unavailable for class meetings, but I am available in the chat tomorrow. So shoot me a message in the chat and I'll be more than happy to respond to you as quick as I can and help you in any way that I can. Let's have a productive asynchronous Wednesday and I'll see you guys on Thursday.